Hi there, this is Beppe from the Developer Relations team at ADN and today in this video I would like to talk to you about a very important feature, webhooks. What is a webhook? The easiest way to understand a webhook is to look at an example. So let's look at the payment flow using the ADN drop-in. With the drop-in you can integrate on your web application a checkout UI component supporting various payment methods and performing the actual payment flow. Now, if we look at the payment flow, we can see what happens. There is an initialization part, the creation of a session, and after that, the component takes care of everything, displaying the payment methods, capturing the data entered by a shopper, executing the payment. Finally, the payment status is notified, confirmed asynchronously after a short delay via webhook. What do you need to work with the webhook? First, create a webhook, verify the webhook endpoint is reachable, validate the HMAC signature, and finally consume the payload. In the customer area, let's create a new webhook. Let's navigate to the developer's webhook page and create a new webhook, clicking the link in the top right corner. There are different types of webhook. We are going to set up a standard notification, but as you can see, there are many other types of all, for all different scenarios and use cases. We are now in the create screen. Enter the name of the webhook and then click apply. Enter the server configuration. This is the URL of the application that will be processing the incoming notification. Enter valid URL. In this first setup, we are going to use webhook.site so we can inspect the payload. So let's grab a valid URL and then we can paste it and click apply. Click now on test configuration so we can perform a test. You can see the payload we are going to send. Now when we perform the test, we are going to receive back a response of 200. And we can also inspect the notification payload in webhook.site. That's the payload. Now you will see that the test has failed because the response was different from what we expected. We can fix that in webhook.site, defining the response that our webhook needs to send. And it is the text accepted. Now let's go back. Let's perform the test again. And now the test is successful. Let's complete now the configuration of the webhook. Go back to the gray screen. Let's enter the basic authentication credential. So we enter username and password and then click apply. We then add the HMAC key. So generate a new one. Copy the clipboard, very important, and click apply. We leave all other fields at default and finally we save changes. In the webhook list, you see the newly created webhook. Note, this is very important, the webhook is initially disabled and that means it will not receive an event. To activate the webhook, just toggle the enable control. Another way to test the webhook is to perform a test payment. Go to Payments and click Add Simple Payment. Choose the single payment option. Then enter the necessary details, the amount and the currency, and perform the payment. Now, if you go to Webhook.site, you can observe the incoming notification and see the request detail, the headers, and the payload. Okay, nice. It is now time to look at consuming the webhook, finally. So add to our ADN example GitHub organization, go to the Node.js sample application, which we can, like all our other samples, run Gipod. The readme file explains what you need to do to run the application Gipod. You can also check the video on our YouTube channel. You need to set all the ADN keys necessary to run the demo as Gipod environment variables. My case is already done. Very important, make sure that the DNH key is set with the key generated during the creation of the webhook. 
let's kick off the sample up on Gipod and see what happens. And once the workspace is up and running, we are going to explore the source code. Now the workspace has been set up and you can see the demo is running. And here it is. Now let's look at the code. We'll close this. Let's look at the index.js. We can see there is an implementation of the webhook uh, handler at the predefined point, webhooks notifications. We can see that the code loops through an array of notification items. For each element, then validate the HMA key and then consume the actual information. In case logging the merchant reference and event code. If it is all fine, we then send back the accepted response. Before testing, we need to do something very important. From the application run on Gitpod, grab the URL and go in the custom area to change the webhook configuration and set the server configuration with the URL of the application Gitpod, including the endpoint path, which is API webhooks notification. Once you finish, you click on apply and we can perform a test. Let's send the authorization event code then once it's sent, we can verify we have received the uh, notification into our Gipod application. Now let's complete this, click on Save Changes, and we are ready now to perform a payment. So we go to the sample app, we choose the drop-in, proceed to checkout, we're going to perform a credit card. In the end documentation, you can find a test credit card number you can use. Let's grab one, copy, and then using our uh, drop-in, the card number, enter the other information that you need to perform the payment, and then click pay. Now, if we go back to the application, the terminal, we can see that we indeed have received a webhook notification. And we are done. I hope this was useful. Check out the GitHub repo, in the readme file you find all the information to set up the application on Gipod or on your local host, and visit the ADN documentation for additional resources and best practices. Bye now!